Yeah, in the previous uh, videos of this series, I basically showed you how to build an app that takes information from a spreadsheet. And you know, you can create this spreadsheet in Google Sheets and you can make any column names you want and then basically build an app that kind of shows the data. And I've shown you how to do that. Um, but what I want to show you is how to make it so, you know, I could go, you know, me as the programmer or me as the administrator for the for the app could go in and add more data in the spreadsheet, but your users can't. So if you want to allow your users to add data, you can do that and you can have, make it so your app sticks things into the spreadsheet. And in the next two videos, I'm going to show you how to, how to do that. Um, so anyway, we're going to start off and, and we're just in, in, on the home screen, we're going to add a button and it's just going to basically be a button that says, okay, um, let's add a, let's add a student to our site. Okay. And we, we could even just make it a plus sign, right? And when you click on that plus sign, it's going to open a new screen, which is basically an input form to add new data um, to your to your database or to your spreadsheet, right? Um, and so, first thing we're going to do is in the blocks, and we'll just call this the the add student button. And of course, if you're doing this for your business, you might call it your add employee or whatever. But when they click on that button, we're going to open a new screen. So first of all, create a new screen. Uh, it's going to start out blank. And we're going to name this screen the um, input student screen. OK, we're going to have to add some labels to it. But right now, we're just on our home page in the blocks. Um, when they click on the add student button, we are going to navigate to the um, student input screen or input student screen. Okay, so cool. Now from our home page, we'll be able to get there. And you know, let's just add some uh, some input, you know, make make an input form over here. And typically what you need is a bunch of text inputs. So text input is where the user, can enter information. And I'm going to actually add five of these. And, and we're not going to style it right now. I'll just kind of add five um, text inputs. And really, what we're doing is making it so the user can enter the five pieces of data that we have in our spreadsheet. OK? And what the app's going to end up doing is adding a new row to the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet's serving as our database. OK? so. I've got these five um, text inputs. I'm also going to need a button, which is like submit. You know, once the user um, enters uh, stuff, and let, let me get that button down here. Let's see. I want that button to be right below the last text input. There we go. And I'm just going to, you know, put text is submit, and then I'm going to name it the submit button. Okay, cool. And you know, for each of these text inputs, I'm going to call this the name text input. I just want to make sure when I get to my blocks, I know what I'm working with. So I'll have the name text input is the top one. Right below that will be the uh, description text input. Okay, and then this next one will be the image URL. Um, the way our spreadsheet works out is is all the images are actually um, uh, URLs to images on the internet. Okay. And then we got two more things. One's the latitude input. Um, you know, this is one of the, uh, for the coordinate for where the person, uh, their hometown or whatever, we got latitude and longitude. Okay. So I'm just renaming all these text inputs. And essentially what the user is going to do is type in here, click submit. And then we're going to add something to to our spreadsheet, and 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 the user will see that that change. Uh, the hint is always, you know, what do you want the user to see before they've entered anything? So on this top one, we're going to say, you know, enter name, and on the next one, we're going to say, okay, enter description. On the next one, we're going to say, enter image URL, and we might want to give it even more instructions there. But for now, let's we'll just do that uh, inner latitude. And we probably want to say like of hometown, let's just, you know, so they know what we're talking about. 
you know, depending on what your app is, you might have them enter a different kind of location. Um, and then finally enter the hometown um, longitude. Okay, so I don't know if we run this guy. Um, so over on the right is my is my app being on my device, and I'm just going to click on the plus button, and let's let's do the live test to kind of re restart the app. So there's my app. Touch the plus button, and it opens up. So it's kind of ugly, right? But the user can essentially enter all the stuff. You know, and right now we're not we're not we're not doing it with the, with the submit button. But at least we've got our input screen set up. We're gonna have to clean it up style wise. Uh, but anyway, in the next video, I'll show you how to actually cause the submit button to add data to the spreadsheet and to the list of, of students in your Meet My Classmates app.